so there are no misunderstandings moving forward. Thank you for being here, sir. Thank you, Director Ray. Thank you for uh, being with us today. And I know you've been here for a very long time. Um, you know, we have spoken many times about black identity extremists, and I definitely want to ask you about that today. Um, I understand that the Bureau no longer uses BIE and instead categorizes these cases under the broader label of racially motivated violent extremism. But, um, but one, I wanted to know if you guys have really uh, repudiated the whole BIE category, because I, I know when we've talked about it in the past, it, it really wasn't, didn't seem to be that there was much evidence that there were black identity extremists. And I, the title was a little longer than that. Something about black identity extremists that threaten police or attack police. So tell me what's different. So uh, I found our conversations before to be, uh, you know, very constructive and very valuable. Uh, and we also engaged uh, not just with you and your colleagues, but also with Noble, uh, mm -hmm. with whom great. we have a great relationship yeah, and are great. working more closely than ever. Good. Uh, we have. Um, as you mentioned, changed our terminology we, as part of a, a broader reorganization of the way in which we categorize our domestic terrorism efforts. So we took a whole bunch of categories, not just the one that you mentioned, but a number of others, and consolidated it down to really four buckets. And the reason for that is what we What are the want, four buckets? What's that? What are the four buckets? Uh, there's racially motivated violent extremism. Uh -huh. Uh, which is, you know, any kind of violent extremism that's driven with a kind of racial intent of one sort or another, no matter which direction. There is um, uh, anarchism slash government extremism. I may not have the label right, but mm -hmm. that covers kind of variety of everything, sort of certain kinds of militia stuff all the way over to kind of more of the anarchist, uh, maybe sort of Antifa-like mm -hmm. uh, kind of methodology. There is... Um, uh, abortion violent extremism, people on either side of that issue who commit violence on behalf of, of different views on that topic. People on either side of that issue don't commit violence. Right? Well, I mean, we've, I, had, we've actually don't... had a variety of kinds of violence uh, on, under that, you believe it or not. But really, the, uh, at the end of the day, the, and, and then the last one has doctors? to do with, with animal rights and environmental uh, Those are the four? extremism. What's that? Those are the four. Those are the four. And the point is, the point is we wanted to underscore uh, what I told you earlier, but we wanted to make it even more clear that at the end of the day, for us, it's not about the ideology. It's about the violence. That's where we weigh in. It's not right. that the ideology isn't important for right. us as Americans, but we only investigate violence and the crimes that go with the violence. But so under the racially motivated, uh, uh, racially motivated violent extremism, how many African-American or black groups are considered under there? Well, uh, again, I want to be clear. Uh, we don't investigate groups per se. We, inv we have properly predicated investigations into individuals, and in some cases they may have co-conspirators, but in each of those instances, it's where we have three things. Credible evidence right. of, of a federal crime, credible, credible evidence, number two, of violence or a threat or use of violence, and then number three, on behalf of some ideology. So if we have those things, only right. if we have those things will we open an investigation. So, um, so do, are white supremacist groups under racially motivated violent extremism? Or do white supremacists have a whole separate category? Well, again, I want to stay away from the use of the word groups. We certainly investigate uh, white supremacist motivated violent extremism in the same category that we're talking about. So, for example, we just, uh, just last month uh, arrested uh, eight members, I think, of a group known as The Base. Uh, and there were arrests that were made uh, not just oh, in yeah, my home waited. state of Georgia, but also in Maryland. Getting ready to go to Virginia, yeah. correct? That was, the group that? That, that was the group that was on their way to Virginia? Uh, I, I think that's right. I can't remember that detail so, specifically. So there but. are organizations, and I understand that, you know, when you say you just investigate individuals, I mean, that, you just gave an example of a group. So I know that there are a lot of, of white, ex, uh, white supremacist groups. And so my question to you is about black groups. And so I don't know, maybe they're black individuals, but under the category of black identity extremism, formally, there were organizations 
uh, such as the one in Texas and the individual in Texas that was arrested. He was incarcerated for a while, and then after being incarcerated and going on trial, he was released. He had, um, he had activity on a website, and he also had um, literature when he was arrested. Are you familiar with the case that I'm talking about? We've talked about it before. I, th I think so, yeah. So my question is, are there African Americans or black groups or individuals that are currently a part of the racially motivated violent extremism category? Well, again, I, I don't know that I would speak in terms of investigating groups. We investigate individuals, and in some instances, uh, individuals with co-conspirators. Uh, and I would say certainly there are individuals who we categorize and track under the racially motivated violent extremism part of our program management uh, who are African Americans targeting others. So for example, mm -hmm. for example, you probably saw some of the reporting uh, about the killing of the individuals in Jersey City, including the killing of the people in the kosher supermarket. I did. Uh, those individuals were associated themselves with something called the Black Hebrew Israelite Oh, I'm movement. very familiar with them. Um, so, so, so let, we are, let's that, that would be in that category. So, so let's use that as an example, because I'm, I'm very familiar with, with that group. That group is um, in several, what would you say? Yeah, well, excuse me, but I'm taking the prerogative of the chair. Um, <laughs> uh, using that group as an example, is that a group, because they are open, you know, I mean, you see them on street corners in different groups, they're not a secret group at all. Is that group part of the racially motivated um, extremism? The group, I understand the act that took place, I understand the individuals, and it's not clear their level of association. Uh, uh, what I would say to you on that is that we have some investigations into individuals mm -hmm. who associate themselves with that movement. Beyond those two people? Yes. Okay. 